don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market. And before so what is up, guys? It is... So welcome back to another video on the finance value guy and in today's video i'm going to be talking about this rapidly developing pattern that is forming on the shiba inu guys i'm going to go ahead and publish this chart as quickly as possible um to my patreon supporters because guys this is absolutely insane okay i'm not going to lie to you guys this is pretty crazy so what we have here guys is a one of a kind unique pattern that is forming okay um and it's very very interesting to see but for those of you who don't know what we're looking at here i'm going to go ahead and explain to you why what we're looking at right now in the charts i'm going to make sense of it for you guys so you guys can understand exactly the mess that we're looking at here um put some context to it so um currently what we're looking at here as you guys can see we have a situation where shiba inu has you know came up here hit this resistance level and then just been bouncing in between these two lines okay now as you guys can see these two lines are very prominent let me actually change the color of these so you guys can know exactly which two lines i'm talking about so as you guys can see here these two yellow lines okay are far different from these two blue lines okay or in fact uh, let me just make these lines red um and i'm using a different um trading software i might this is actually um binance's trading this is trading view and binance so if you're wondering why it looks a little different that is why it is a little bit different so let me just um add this so yeah as you guys can see right here we have our situation yeah okay we have something on our on our hands here okay now this isn't a small move now of course you know some of you guys might be like wait this isn't a major breakout this is a very small move now as you guys can see this is going to be the measured move okay the measured move is going to be like eight percent if it manages to break out now some people are going to say that is a very very small move i tend to disagree guys number one you can trade with this number two this move okay forget all the trading stuff okay this move is happening at a very critical point now remember what i said in my previous videos if you've been paying attention okay this is a mega wedge guys okay if we go to the four hourly which i am going to go you guys can see that this is a mega wedge okay now mega wedges like this okay you know as symmetrical wedges what they tend to do is around this area guys so for example if we manage to extend this around this area okay oh my god i don't know why that just occurred uh, let me just extend that there and let me extend this all the way here there we go let's just extend that because this is supposed to be extended um but yeah guys around this apex point okay this point right here or in this area okay this is where things start to break out guys and these are where things start to break down but i've noticed a pattern guys on the hourly chart now basically when you're looking at charts and when you're looking at crypto guys you know people always look at the daily charts and the weekly charts and sometimes they can't see stuff so what you always want to do is you want to go to the shorter time frames guys and on a shorter time frame okay what we can see here is we can see a bull flag or a rising wedge now rising wedges two things can happen and this might not be helpful to you guys but just trust me this is very very interesting okay rising wedges okay can break down and they tend to break down okay we usually have a situation where we got one yellow line another yellow line price bouncing in between and then a breakdown okay that's usually if price is coming down rising wedge and then break down okay that's usually what happens but if the price action is going up guys and you have a rising wedge okay you're going to be having a very very bullish scenario now remember guys okay rising wedges can break up and when they break up they break up violently for example look at what happened with dogecoin guys remember i posted this chart to you guys the other day okay i said this was the rising wedge on dogecoin okay this is the hourly chart okay you might not be able to see but look at this guys okay remember a rising wedge is simply a triangle with one line on here another line on here price bouncing up and down and then breaking up guys and that violent move up okay especially after a you know violent resistance line okay can take the price skyrocketing guys this you know i'll make another video on dogecoin in a minute guys look at that okay that was um 12 percent 15 percent move guys for dogecoin okay it was pretty darn insane i remember everyone waking up saying wow look at dogecoin that move was pretty crazy guys and look okay um this rising wedge okay you know if it breaks up that's that's going to be the measured move guys 16 percent, 15 percent. that is a huge huge move guys that is going to be something that is pretty crazy okay for sheep inu now think about this okay if this manages to move up here, okay, the reason this is going to be super, super bullish is because this is not just on a small part, guys. If Shiba Inu, guys, if on the four hourly chart, okay, and I'm going to publish this four hourly chart, if Shiba Inu, if any of the candles, okay, start to close outside of this area or this area, guys, if any of those candles start to close either here or here, I can promise you guys that Shiba is going to have a violent move to either side, guys. We just need to see which side it is and get confirmation before knowing which way it's going to go. We already know, like, the price targets, okay? So, for example, if Shiba Inu, okay, let's take um, our Fibonacci retracement tool, tool and let's, um, in fact, how can I um, just get this button? Uh, okay, let's not just do that. 
Let me go ahead. Oh my God, this is just so messy. I'm not used to this trading tool. Um, it's back because um, I don't know what is going on here, guys. This software is, uh, it's not bad, but um, it's not great. Um, I don't know why. It's just a little bit glitchy. Okay, so let me just uh, do that. I don't know why it's glitching so much. You guys can see the lines just glitching a little bit. Okay, that is definitely not helpful. Maybe they're doing that so people like me can lose money. Who knows? Um, but yeah, um, basically, if we take this from the bottom, okay, um, let me just go ahead and grab this. Um, I don't know why it doesn't let me grab this in, in a proper way. But anyways, if we take this and grab it to the bottom point, guys, and then we go all the way up, okay, and we grab this to the top point here, we already know, okay, that if um, if Sheep actually drops, okay, if Sheep drops and, you know, think something's different on Gistart because every single chart is different. If we know that Shiba Inu drops, guys, then Shiba Inu is most likely to drop to either this level or at least this level, guys, okay? And this is going to be the golden ratio, guys. This is the golden buy opportunity, guys. I'm probably going to be buying a ton of Shiba Inu if we go here. I'm not going to lie. Part of me wants Shiba Inu to drop so that I can actually pick up more Shiba because I know that the rally after this, okay, is going to be absolutely insane because the next Dogecoin rally, when Doge dropped to this key key level, guys, it was ridiculous, okay? And so many people missed it. So, um, you know, right now, okay, the pattern that we're seeing right here is basically a bull flag, guys. And this bull flag is likely to help Shiba Inu break to the upside. Now, um, basically what this means is that Shiba is having this you know bullish pattern um and basically guys if i just do this and if i just do this guys within literally um you know how many hours is it going to be before we know whether or not this pattern actually breaks out um i think it's going to be since every candle is an hour it's only going to be maybe 12 hours okay before we know for sure realistically we could have a pattern like this okay we could have a pattern where Shiba actually manages just to um do this okay and then break down and still be here. But the reason I'm making these videos now is because this is actually the critical point, guys. This isn't like back when we were here, when the move, major move has already happened. Right now, we're actually at the next stage, okay? That's going to tell us where we go. And remember, guys, if Sheep does drop, that is probably the healthiest thing for the coin. To be honest, if we go vertical, okay, I would expect Sheep to drop even further down in the future, okay? So for now, okay, what am I predicting, guys? I'm predicting Sheep is going to continue bouncing through these lines and then eventually br probably break up to the upside, okay? With a price target of, where is it? Where is it? I can't even see it on the right hand side. It's probably going to be 31, okay? Probably going to be 31, okay? Now, if it manages to stay above that level, okay? Um, and of course, we got to get above the red line first. If it manages to stay above the level, guys, we are going to be seeing clear skies on Shiba Inu. That's why I'm watching this pattern because this just started to develop only a couple of hours ago. I drew these lines literally like six hours ago, okay? Well, I was just bored. I was like, you know, let me draw a couple of lines. And I slowly saw it to see that the pattern was, for, you know, following these. So that's why I'm saying that realistically, we got ourselves a situation where Shiba Inu could be breaking to the upside on a violent move, guys. We just need to see if it can get above this light red line, guys. That is going to be just ridiculous, guys. For Sheep holders, that is going to be a major, major move, um, especially if it, you know, transforms as well on the hourly chart to a major move, guys. That is probably going to take Sheep all the way up to like 34, 35, guys, um, and maybe even break another all-time high, especially since other cryptos are gearing up for a major, major move, guys. So all cryptos are literally at the edge of that extremely bullish move which is going to be it's going to be super interesting guys honestly it's going to be whoa wow i just i honestly don't even know what's going to happen here but um yeah you know so for now what we're doing is i'm watching to see if the price of you know shiba inu is going to continue bouncing in between these lines if we go up that's going to be a very very explosive move um out nobody's going to catch that nobody's going to catch that trade it's going to move so quickly but if we go down we're most likely to bounce between this line um and if we do start to go down and if we start start it you know, have signs of a crash. I'll make that video straight away. I'll make that video. I'll tell you guys, okay, we're going to go down. We're probably going to go down and touch this level or we're going to go down and touch this, this level, guys. So you guys will be in the loop. Just make sure you guys subscribe, like all that good stuff. Make sure you guys, um, you know, come back to the channel because um, cryptocurrency changes so quickly, guys, okay? Um, and even when we're here, I wouldn't say we're kind of bullish because we did manage to break down. Um, but the candles, it didn't close, guys. Like if you look at the four hourly chart, the candles did not close, okay? Um, and as you guys can see, if you don't know what candle is, the candle is basically the body part of it. So the body part of the candle did close but this the stick part okay can be outside but as long as the the actual you know block bit is inside then it's fine okay but as you guys can see um we actually got no candle closes outside no blocks closing outside so so far the, the, the bullish case is still very very intact guys so um yeah as you guys can see right here um things are looking pretty good on sheep and so far, um, this 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 could be either a very bullish fake out or it could be the start of something crazy guys um and I'm gonna tell you guys if we do manage to break out i'm going to tell you guys as it's going on um and if we do start to go down i'll tell you guys exactly where and exactly why and exactly you know the price action you guys should expect so um 
with that being said guys let me know if you leave a comment down below um there is also something i did want to talk about as well i did want to talk about um you know this as well because i feel like you know on the daily chart because what, what you want to do okay is um you always want to look at the at the you know the the the, the so one thing I also also wanted to talk about, I just didn't want to leave this out there. I also want to talk about the longest time frame, okay? The longest time frame is probably going to be the most accurate time frame, okay? And I wanted to show you guys this, okay? Just quickly before the video ends, because this kind of scared me, okay? Like, I was up and I was looking at Shiba Inu charts. I don't know, I couldn't focus. I don't know, call me a nerd or whatever. I just couldn't focus. I was just, you know, thinking, oh my God, you know, um, this is probably going to be one of the most interesting crypto charts. But look at this, okay? Um, I'm going to show you guys this, okay? And please watch this, okay? Because I know that, you know, the majority of the video is over and, you know, just got a little bit apart. But just seriously, this is very important, okay? Um, and I might make another complete video on this, but I just want to add this in there, okay? If we look at the RSI of Shiba Inu, guys, you can see that we're getting supported, 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 supported. But overall, okay, price action is heading towards oversold and oversold, okay? Which means that usually once we're in this territory, guys, above this um, area, it usually means it's coming back for retracement, guys. Which means that if Shib comes back down to this retracement here... It could probably be the perfect 6.61 level or 0.5 level where we could buy and we could see further highs, guys. So for me, this is a little bit of a red flag. You know, I, I mean, you know, are we going to see a situation where Shiba Inu, you know, hits that major resistance level? Um, is there a resistance level here? Not really. That's 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 not really historical resistance. But you never know, guys. Okay, I'm open to all possibilities, and I'm just saying that if 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 Shiba Inu starts to crash, I will say that the bounce is most likely going to be at this level on the RSI, and I'll update you guys for that. So one thing about crypto, you some of these people say, why do you say it's going to go up? It's going to go down, guys. You always have to cover both both sides of things, okay? And you always need to make sure you understand exactly where the crypto is headed so um with that being said guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video to conclude this video guys basically am i long or short shiba inu long story short is i think that we are probably going to go up here but if we go down i know the exact levels where we're going and i'm going to be buying at those exact levels so it's going to be very interesting um to see that so with that being said if you like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one